In this video, I'm going to cover how we can make it easier for customers that are in disconnected environments to still get the custom visuals from the marketplace for Power BI. So when I say disconnected environment, what I mean is people are using Power BI report server where their environment is not connected to the internet. So typically the way you would get the visuals from the marketplace is you would use Power BI desktop, you would sign in with your Office 365 account, then from there you could actually view the custom visuals from the marketplace. But for these customers that I'm talking about, ones that are not connected to the internet, they can't do that. And so it makes it a little bit challenging to get these visuals from the marketplace into their production environment. So what I'm gonna show you is something that I published to GitHub. It's a PowerShell script. It allows you to download all of the visuals from the marketplace into a single folder. And then that makes it easier to transfer that into an environment where you can then use it with your disconnected environment and Power BI report server. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're looking at here is my public repository that I have on GitHub all around Power BI. And I've got a couple different topics here, but what I want to show you is the PowerShell script that I put together to download the visuals from the marketplace for Power BI. So in the miscellaneous folder, what we can see here is the visuals bulk download tool.ps1. This is the PowerShell script that I created specifically to download the visuals from the marketplace. Now, if you wanted to, you could clone this repository on your local machine. If all you care about was just the PowerShell script, what you can do is go to this PowerShell script here and then click on raw. And from here, we can right click that and say save as. And now we're going to just save this on my local file system. So we'll the default is going to be a text file, but we just want to change that to all files and we'll just make sure it's a .ps1, which is the PowerShell extension. So go ahead and save that. Okay, so once that downloads, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to launch PowerShell. So here we go. I've got the PowerShell console and I'm in the same directory I downloaded this script to. So if I just look at what are in here, we can see the visuals bulk download tool.ps1. Now I added a couple of uh, command line arguments to this. So if you just run this, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to download every visual from the marketplace, put it into a downloads folder in the directory it's in. So if I did that right now, we would then see that this would run. Every single visual would get downloaded, and then it would specify, it would download that into the downloads folder in this directory. Now, there are a couple of command line arguments that I added. So you can, if you add the certified only switch, that will only download the visuals that have been certified, that have gone through the certification process in the marketplace. You can also add another switch to only show, only download the Microsoft visuals. So we, Microsoft, we publish our own visuals to our own marketplace, but this will filter on just certified and also just Microsoft visuals. So those are the two switches that you have control over. Um, all of this is open source. If you wanted to make changes, you're totally welcome to do that. If you've made changes and you think it would be helpful for other people, please um, you know, make a pull request to my repository. That way other people could take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and run this um, without any command line arguments. And now what we'll see is that it's going to start downloading each of the visuals. Now, while it's doing that, the other thing I just want to highlight here is that if you're intending to use this with Power BI Report Server, um, just keep in mind that there are a couple different ways that developers can create custom visuals. So the API supports uh, TypeScript and JavaScript and HTML5 to create custom visuals, and many of the visuals are created that way. Now, there are some custom visuals that instead of using JavaScript, we're actually using R under the covers. Those today will not work with Power BI Report Server because Power BI Report Server today does not support the R scripting uh, language. So um, just a little side note, if you're running into this, um, you're bringing this over for Power BI Report Server, and you notice that some of the visuals aren't working, more than likely that's probably what's going on. What I want to show now is just this is File Explorer, and what you can see is that where the script was downloaded, it's still running, but it did create a downloads folder. And then if I open this up, we'll now see each of the individual visuals associated with this. And if you look at the file extension, each one is a .pbiviz. Those are the visuals, that, that's the file extension for the custom visuals for Power BI. Now this is still running, but whenever it's done, it'll all be in a single folder. You could zip this up and then you could transfer this over to whatever disconnected environment you want to be able to use these visuals with. And then lastly, I just want to show you how you would import the custom visuals when you've downloaded them from the marketplace instead of going directly through Power BI Desktop. So in the right, we can hit the three dots. We can say uh, import a visual from a file, and this is what we're going to use here. 
And so um, we're looking at the same directory where the visuals were being downloaded. I'm gonna go into the downloads folder and we'll go ahead and just pick one of these visuals. It was successfully imported. And now when we look here, we can now see that the cluster map visual is available to us in this report. And this is exactly how you'd use this in the uh, disconnected environment as well. So hopefully this is really helpful for anyone running Power BI in a disconnected environment. I'll make sure in the show notes to put a link to my GitHub repository so it's really easy to find that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below.